Hello everyone and welcome back to Zopa Stories. I'm Zopa and tonight I want to dive into a topic that has always been a part of my life. Paranormal activities. From my earliest memories as a little girl, I found myself caught in the midst of numerous encounters with the unexplained. It's like there's this mystery energy swirling around me, and when it's present, things just get downright bizarre and unsettling. Let's get started. I want to take you back to my senior year of high school. It was during this period that I experienced a lot of inexplicable and terrifying things. Even with a jam-packed schedule, filled with extracurricular activities, clubs, and sports, I couldn't escape the clutches of these spine-tingling incidents. It was as if unseen presents were constantly attracted to me, haunting my every step. The strange thing was, I couldn't pinpoint the cause of these eerie happenings. It was a puzzle that kept me awake at night, questioning the nature of my reality. The day began just like any other. There was no indication of the event that was about to take place. It was a Friday night, and after cheering on my friend's basketball game, we decided to keep the celebration going with a late night meal at Denny's. Since all the other places were closed, it seemed like the perfect choice. Little did I know, this seemingly innocent decision would set the state for an eerie encounter. As I pulled into the driveway, ready to call it a night, I turned off my car engine and heard a faint haunting laugh. (laughs) It scared me, but I tried to stay calm. I looked around, hoping to see what made the sound, but it was too dark to tell. I felt a bit uneasy, so I quickly gathered my things and made my way towards the house. When I got to my room and opened the door, I felt a strange sensation. As soon as the door flung open, a sudden rush of cold air brushed past me, as if someone hurriedly entered the room from behind. I instantly felt the temperature drop, but brushed it off, thinking it was just another cold night. I proceeded with my regular bedtime routine, trying to ignore the strange occurrence. I was completely worn out by the time I crawled into bed, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't seem to drift off to sleep. After what felt like hours of lying in bed and staring at the ceiling, I decided to be productive and get some last minute research done for an upcoming essay. I got out of bed and turned on my computer. As I began my research, I suddenly felt the strange sensation again. I knew something wasn't quite right, but I brushed it off once more. This time, it was just my tired mind playing tricks on me. That's when it happened. Out of nowhere, my computer screen flickered, then suddenly, a loud Dump make me jump out of my chair. I looked around the dark room, trying to figure out what had caused the commotion. That's when I saw it. My plastic laundry basket had fallen to the floor from the closet shelf. I walked over and carefully picked it up, put it back where it belonged, and came back to sat down again. But then, there was another loud crash, and this time, the basket rolled towards me. I couldn't ignore it. I had to figure out what's going on. I got up, turned on the light, and walked over to the closet again, trying to find the reason why the basket fell. I looked around carefully, checking every corner and shelf, but everything seemed to be in its place. There was no obvious reason for why the basket would fall like that, and it left me feeling confused. After finding nothing wrong, I was frustrated, so I grabbed the basket and angrily threw it back into the closet. But believe it or not, 
As soon as I turned around, the darn basket flew right out at me. And to make matters worse, I heard this creepy laughter coming from the inside of my closet. It was the same creepy laugh that I heard earlier. My fear skyrocketed, and I felt like I was about to pass out from the sheer terror. My heart was pounding like crazy, and I had this awful feeling that something terrible was about to happen. Keeping my eyes locked on the closet, I slowly bent down to grab the basket from the floor. But what I saw next, oh, that was enough to make my heart skip a beat. I couldn't believe my eyes. There, in the dark corner of my closet, was this freakish creature that gave me the creeps. This thing was no joke. It stood a measly maybe two feet tall, but it looked like it had crawled right out of a horror movie. Its fur was all tangled and sticky, making it even more repulsive. And those eyes, they were huge, dark, and had an airy glow to them. It was like they were peering straight into my soul, never even blinking for a second. To make matters worse, this creature had these long, pointy ears that stood straight up almost the length of its body. They looked so sharp, like they could pierce through anything that got in their way. And don't even get me started on its mouth. It was small, but filled with these razor-sharp teeth that sent shivers down my spine. The worst part was its laugh. Oh my goodness, that laugh was the stuff of nightmares. It was so creepy, so bone-chilling that it made my whole body tremble. Even thinking about it now gives me goosebumps. Believe me, encountering that creature was one hell of a terrifying experience. It's something I won't forget anytime soon. The whole scene was so terrifying that I couldn't help but screamed loudly. It was a piercing sound that brought my mother running into the room, looking really worried. She asked me urgently what was wrong, wanting to know what had happened. I was so scared that I couldn't even explain what I had seen. It was like my mind had gone blank and I couldn't find the right words to describe the unspeakable terror that had paralyzed me. Every time I tried to speak, I just gasped for air, as if something was squeezing my throat. It took a long time for me to calm down and get my thoughts in order. Finally, when I was able to speak again and regain control of my body, I let out a whisper and a shaky voice telling my mother about the scary thing I saw in my closet. Her face turned really pale just like mine, but she quickly grabbed my flashlight and checked it out. I was so scared as I watched her, too afraid that that thing might just jump out at her and harm her in some type of way. But when she peered into the closet, there was nothing there. The scary thing had vanished, and I started to question if I imagined it all. She walked around my room and flipped everything she could, but she found nothing. She didn't say anything to me afterward. She just gave me a look, walked out of my room, and quickly came back. She lit up what appeared to be a sage in a bowl. As she walked around my room, wisp of smoke filled the air. In my culture, we use red strings for protection against evil. 
so she called my father to come to tie one around me. My father came in with a soothing voice, chanted special words while tightly knotting the strings around my wrist. Afterward, he went outside and placed branches with green leaves by my windows and doors. This is just to add an extra layer of protection for just in case. After that, everything seemed peaceful, but the memory of what happened stayed with me for months. It was so intense that it became difficult for me to sleep or even enter my room. Whenever I went in, my mind would replay the whole incident repeatedly. However, as days passed, I gradually started to gain control over my fear. From that moment on, I made a decision to avoid coming home late. I didn't want to accidentally encounter anything else and the risk of them following me home again. There's always the possibility of something else more evil and more powerful that can really cause harm to me. As I reflect on that terrifying encounter with the creature, I'm still left with many unanswered questions. I'll never know for sure why it chose to follow me home that night, perhaps drawn to my energy. Or maybe it just wanted to play a twisted game of hide and seek. Regardless of its intentions, I'm grateful to have parents that knows how to handle the situation. Many years later, my mother finally revealed the reasons behind their actions to protect me. She explained that as a child, she had heard the stories but never believed that they were true until I personally experienced it. She was surprised by the details I could provide because she had never shared those stories with us. It frightened her so much, but she had to remain strong for my sake. She explained that those creatures only bothered to reveal themselves to the person they follow home. I hope you guys enjoyed this personal story of mine. Make sure to click like, share, and subscribe so you can stay updated. By doing this, you won't miss out on any exciting new content that is yet to come. Join my community of enthusiastic listeners and be the first to immerse yourself in the thrilling world of Zopa stories. Your support will keep the contents coming and ensure that you're always in the loop for the next extraordinary chapter. So don't wait. Click like, share, and subscribe now. Thank you for joining me on this storytelling adventure. As always, may your nights be filled with intriguing tales and your dreams be free from the creatures that lurk in the shadows.